Hello, this is Jonathan Naylor. I'm reporting to you live from Greenwich, Connecticut for Phase 2 Harvest Time News. I'm here today with our construction manager, Tim Holmes. Tim, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Excellent. Thanks for asking. We've got walls, and they're purple. Tim, congratulations on all the wonderful progress that you've made uh, for our church body. We're so excited. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at now? Behind us, uh, I think they're called trusses. Can you explain why they're there? Yeah, the, uh, the trusses back there are built because we needed additional strength for the brick. Uh, the brick is very rigid, and it has to be well-supported. And we weren't able to uh, get large enough uh, studs into that area. So what we were able to do was use the inside wall and the outside wall and create a truss between them. And with that, we were able to get the strength we needed. And the trusses actually go from uh, 15 and a half feet all the way up to 30 feet. Excellent. So we have a strong building as well as a beautiful building. Uh, I notice we have windows in now and they're different sizes. Tell us, uh, tell us about the windows. Well, as you know, this building has a lot of windows and a lot of glass and skylights and, and uh, the windows range in different sizes. Some of them are, as over there, are, are very small, but they follow the slope of the roof. And they get up to the, at the far end, they're um, close to uh, 16 feet tall. And then we have large windows looking uh, in over the uh, by the entryway that will be right beside the stairways, and those actually go up to uh, 22 feet tall. And uh, then the skylights, which go all along there, are in the process of being framed now, and we're looking to get glass in them uh, probably by sometime next week. We'll start putting glass in them. Excellent. So we're going to save on electricity because of all the natural lighting. Yeah, yeah. We're going to save a lot. <laughs> Tim, we're standing on the transition roof that links phase one to phase two. Can you describe what we're seeing here? Uh, yes. Phase one had a uh, roof that went and there was a courtyard in it, a sloping roof. And it comes down to a, a, uh, a level. And then phase two, the roof that we see behind us, goes very high and comes down a long ways. But between the two roofs, you have two sloping roofs coming into like a big valley. Mm -hmm. And so what the architect did is he separated those two roofs and put a flat roof to be the transition between the two sloped roofs. And in that area, he was able to uh, put the steel that we see behind us, which the chiller will, uh, which is the main air conditioning for the uh, phase two, will sit on there and be hidden between these different roofs. So... Not only is it a way of joining the two roofs, they were able to find a way to hide a lot of the mechanical equipment in this space. That's fascinating because uh, many times you look at some buildings and they, they have ugly things jutting out and here all of that mechanical um, paraphernalia is, is hidden, uh, nicely nestled between the buildings. Yeah, it was one of uh, Pastor Glenn's Big request. Uh, he, he did not want to look at this roof and see something ugly on it. So I think the architect did quite a good job in working out where that mechanical equipment will be hidden. Indeed, I would have to agree. Tim, can you tell us about the roof uh, that we're looking at just behind? Uh, yes, this is uh, part of this is the original roof. And uh, what we did was fill in the courtyard area that was there. And you'll see the skylights right behind us will be over what was the courtyard and now will be the conference room. Mm -hmm. There are three skylights that look into that conference room. Um, you can see that there's black roof uh, coming out from underneath the metal roof. That's a EPDM or a rubber roof mm -hmm. that will continue over this whole area and the tapered roof. We had to take all of the metal panels off mm -hmm. and uh, about half of them were able to be reused. And then we had to get new metal panels to finish out the balance of the roof. I see. So we actually recycled the old roof and made it part of the new roof. We did. Ex Excellent. And can you tell us, we're looking at more of this purple 
uh, board. What What is that material? Uh, that's actually a glass mat gypsum board. Uh, it's kind of similar to drywall that you have in your house, but it's made with a special formula that is water resistant for, uh, for a year, and then it has fiberglass mats on both sides. Uh, so it's a, a fireproof product, plus it's a very strong product. And over that, we'll be uh, taping all of the seams with a rubberized tape, and then we'll be putting a, a regular house wrap, uh, like Tyvek, over that. And onto that, then, will be uh, screwed uh, brackets that will support the brickwork. I see. Very good. Tim, do you want to add anything else uh, about the construction site and uh, the progress we've made? Uh, one thing I would like to ask is, uh, and just let the congregation know how appreciative I am of their flexibility in the parking lot. Uh, we've had to uh, move so many of the different islands, uh, but we have extended the parking lot and are adding about 110 parking spaces. So I just really want to just say I appreciate your flexibility uh, during this time when we are uh, digging ditches and all sorts of things through the parking lot and would ask you to just be extremely cautious as you're driving onto the site. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Okay, Harvest Time, that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. Please stay tuned for future updates. This is Jonathan Naylor signing off for Phase 2 Harvest Time News.